Welcome to your online tutorial with us here at Jewelry Maker. I'm joined by the lovely Gem, who has created some incredible designs for you to uh, create and use within your home. Uh, beautiful napkin pieces to be uh, positioned on your table or anywhere else for that matter around your, uh, your beautiful home environment. Now, Gem, before we do get started with this tutorial, what tools and what foundations do we actually need to create these? these pieces? Generally speaking I would work with some flush cutters and some round nose pliers and some hook or bent nose pliers. Uh -huh. Okay, so three three tools. Mm -hmm. um, uh, by the way, if you're thinking about where to get those, you can get them from our website, can't you? So you certainly can. Um, or, or, or many other locations, but certainly you can acquire these tools from us directly at mm -hmm. Jewelry Maker. And then in terms of components to actually make these, uh, these uh, napkin rings? Our basic napkin ring is going to require one mil wire of your colour choice. I'm using copper to demonstrate here and also 0.4 mil wire. Now mm -hmm. we're going to be using approximately one meter of the one mil and I don't know maybe 40 centimeters of the 0.4 so they're not in very very hungry for the materials. Okay. They're, they're actually quite quite good to go. So if you do buy the, the, the actual spools of wire from us they're going to go an awful long way you're going to be able to create many of your nap napkin rings to go around your table as, as wonderful decorative features. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see these because they are certainly something that I would use within my home um, and they look awfully complex don't they? They look, they look like um, that it could be something which takes years of actually mastering. Uh, Gem you're going to teach us how to do this in, in, in approximately five minutes. Absolutely this is not a difficult to master technique and it's just one way to show how our jewellery maker products can be used around the home and outside of the jewellery maker box. Okay. Another piece that I'm going to use is my little mandrel which is going to help us form a curve but we'll get to that in a moment. During the demonstration. So uh -huh. which one is it that you are actually demonstrating? I understand they uh, apply similar techniques. Uh -huh. the Look basis. different but the, the basis itself is actually similar. So uh -huh. which one is it that you're actually going to be demonstrating for us? We're going to look at the one with the heart motif which is on the middle shelf of the stand. Lovely. Look at that. Romantic isn't it? You can really imagine that with your table linen looking fabulous, can't you? Most definitely. Um, all through whatever time of year as well, for yeah, whatever time of year. Not just for the festive season. No, absolutely not. So, should we get started? Fantastic, thank you very much. First thing we're going to do is warm up approximately one metre of the wire. And warming the wire means that it's slightly more malleable. And I'm just going to ask Gail to take half a step backwards so that we can get ourselves approximately one metre off the reel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my flush cutters. The reason I use flush cutters from Jewelry Maker is that you get a very nice, neat snip. We'll rescue that, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, we'll rescue that. Fantastic. And we're just going to make a start by taking our round pliers, which mm -hmm. graduate from large at the base to a small tip at the end. We're going to begin by forming a loop so we've got our basic start is a loop. We're going to put the pliers back in and fold it around so that we've now made a figure of eight. So that is easy peasy. So you've bent it one way and then you've bent it back the other way. Absolutely. Just using your round nose pliers That's as the guide essentially. That's right and if you push the wire to the very base of your round nose pliers you will get an even shape and size over and over again. I'm going to pop my round nose pliers back through the long end of the wire and I'm going to pass it back over the top. Okay. So, so almost doubling right the way back on itself. Absolutely, so that the wire is touching the preceding loop. I'm now going to repeat that process a number of times. I'm going to build up a short length in a very short length of time. Gosh, yes, it doesn't take that long, does it? You're just nope. alternating, literally moving the, the angles of, 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 of the pliers, essentially, as you go. So it's taken us just a few seconds to achieve the beginning of our project. If I just hold it like that, you can see where we've gone. Maybe I'll hold it against the background there, you can see better. And what we would do is continue along until we have approximately 16 or 18 loops. And in time-honoured fashion, here is one that I made earlier and also threw on the floor. 
which is always good. It's been rectified, and, and it's still fine. It's still absolutely it's fine. It's perfect. That's the beauty of quality wire. Yes, I suppose that makes <laughs> sense. Actually, quality wire, you know that you can work with it quite comfortably, and again, with the tools, you're not you're not damaging the actual colour coating in any no. way, shape, or form. I have no fear when I'm using jewellery maker wire that I can slide my round nose pliers in and out of the loops, and there won't be an issue with them. If we can just turn it like so, mm -hmm. so everybody can see uh, that repetitive design. If you'd like to hold that still for me, I'm going to snip the tail of the wire off uh -huh. so that we've got two tails that are approximately the same length. So you've cut those exactly the same length, uh -huh. or, or, or approximately, I should say, uh, the same length. Uh -huh. And obviously you're going you're gonna to show us why you've done that. It, we with will this definitely wonderful come to that. So when you've uh, got time to pause your video and move on when you're ready, you want those to be quite nice, nice and neat. And the next stage of the process is to create a little bit of a curve. Now, I'm using a ring mandrel, but you could certainly use a bangle mandrel. I love how you've named that, like you do in school. <laughs> you know, make sure no one steals your... Uh... It's not about theft. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's about me leaving things behind, yes, which does enough. happen. I do apologise for that. So you're just using the, the mandrel to create that wonderful mm -hmm. shape. We didn't want to close it round. We're not making a ring. Mm -hmm. But we did want to get a lovely curve. The next stage of our demonstration, I'm just warming the wire again because it makes it that bit more malleable, is to take our finer wire. In this instance, we have got a 0.4mm, mm -hmm. which has been very tidily hooked away. And we're going to start off by wrapping round and round one of our long tails that are sticking up. This is a very simple and quick process which you can make quite neatly with a little bit of tension. Now, all I've done there is go around probably about six or seven times, and I'm just going to snip the short end off. Okay, so snip the excess off. And you can see here that we've got just a little set of loops. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push that all the way down so that it sits against the bottom of your hoop. Yes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is pull our ends of napkin ring together and I'm going to pinch them between the thumb and forefinger of my non-dominant hand. Our next stage, we're going down between the two wires. So what we're going to do now is go up and around the opposite wire to where we started. We're going to go round, down the middle, back around that wire we just wrapped. And we're going to do that four times. Once I've done it, I will stop and show you very briefly what we've got to. So you've got a nice secure start here, and then we've gone and done four loops around that side. What we would do now is continue with our pattern. I've wrapped around my first wire again, and I'm going to do that two, three, four times. Again, I'm just warming the wire because if you're gentle with your wire and respectful of it, it will respect you back. I'm underneath, I'm going round the wire that is closest to you, and I'm going to go round four times. Now, what I would do, which you will get very bored watching, is continue all the way up to about here. So alternating the wires, mm -hmm. creating sort of a zigzag effect across your, I suppose, left or right or front or back wire, whichever way you look at it. The main thing is I'm always going down between the wires and up around the outside of the wires. Mm -hmm. And I like to keep an even number of coils on either side. So we're going to stop there and I'm going to snip the excess of the thin wire. Mm -hmm. What you would probably do at home is continue a little bit further up because it's just that little bit prettier. Mm -hmm. Now, if I hold it up this way for you and I warm the wire with my thumb and use my forefinger to gently make that into a lovely curve, a very natural organic curve. I'm going to turn it round so that you see it from the back. I'm just doing the same thing again. I'm making it nice and warm and getting us this lovely, you can see the heart shape is already taking place. At the moment it's not very even, but that doesn't matter. What we're going to do is trim off the excess pieces of wire here, and I use the edge of the heart motif as a guide as to where I want to snip. So you can see we've got an approximate heart shape. All we're going to do now is put our round nose pliers in the end and curl. And it really is as simple as that. I'm turning it around this way, 
so that it's easier for me to make this without blocking your view. Now, as I say, at home, you can take your time and make it nice and neat, but you have the basis of your design right there. It is that quick, that simple, that easy. Absolutely beautiful, and imagine your linen threaded to, through. Thank you so much. And, mm -hmm. uh, use various different, uh, different mm -hmm. coloured wires if you wish, and don't forget you can continue that wire weaving mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Um, absolutely fantastic, beautiful designs. Uh, you can join and uh, join us here at Jewelry Making, of course, Fine Gem for more amazing creations. But this is how you can incorporate jewelry making into, of course, your home decor. Thank you so so much. Thank you very much. And happy making.